Hello, it's Tom. Uh, I want to make a quick video, just an informative guide on how to get Obsidian Git working um, with GitHub with your repo. Um, this is assuming, you know, we're going off of brand new stuff here, like, you know, new repo and everything. Um, first things first, you're going to want to go to github.com slash new to make a new repository. I'm going to make a tutorial repo and then you will want to make it private, public or private. But the main thing, you want to make sure it's at, you have an add, um, you add a readme file because then you don't have to run through the steps of, um, committing anything to the repository. It just, you know, it does all the extra work that you need to do right off the bat. Um, so then, uh, we have this tutorial repo. So now what we're going to do is we're going to clone it into here, but first before we clone it, we need a key to log in. So, um, we're going to go to our settings here and then we're going to go down to developer settings. Personal access tokens, tokens classic, generate new tokens, and classic. And then I'm going to log in here using Proton. Um, and then here, uh, expiration, you can set it to no expiration. Um, you know, I know this could be a security risk for some people, but um, I'm just going to do Obsidian Tutorial here. Um, and then for scope, you just want to make a repo. Scroll down, generate token. Copy the token that you just got. And then you're going to want to press control P and then you're going to want to clone. Um, well, first you need to get plugin. Jeez. Um, yeah, get the, get the Git plugin. It's, it's called Git here. Install. It's by Vincent enable. Boom. Uh, go into your clone and then remote URL. You're going to do HTTPS colon slash slash. And then you're going to put your GHP token here and then at github.com and then um, slash your um, username, slash your repo name. So tutorial.git.git is very important. Um, and then you press enter. Enter directory for clone needs to be empty or non-existent. I'm gonna do tutorial. So basically all of this folder will be synced to GitHub. Um, so I do tutorial, specify def. I'm gonna leave it empty so it does everything. And now it's ready to restart. So we'll close this. We'll go back into Obsidian here. And here we are. Uh, what's new? Yada, yada, yada. We're just going to clo close everything here. I'm going to drag welcome in here, but you can see it'll I'll go in here and I see read me tutorial. So we're also going to do this is a test for the Obsidian tutorial. Now, there are two things. If you're syncing this with devices, you need to pull every time after you make changes on another device. So you just do pull or you can automate this and I'll show you that in a second. If you're sending stuff out, you'll want to do uh, commit and sync. Get commit and sync. Committed two files, push two files. Now, so now, if I go back to our main repo here, refresh. Look at that. The, re the readme's been changed and welcome.md is in there. Um, now, if you want to automate this process, press control comma. And then you're going to want to go to git. Auto commit sync and interval. You're going to want to set this to however many minutes, however many minutes interval you want to synchronize Obsidian. So I'm going to do one. So every minute it commits and syncs to the repo. Um, and then every time I start up the computer or start up the, uh, the application, I want to pull. So what you're going to do is you're going to scroll down here to pull, pull on startup, turn that on. And then you'll see if I restart Obsidian here, uh, whoops, if I restart Obsidian here, you can see. Pull, everything's up to date. No changes to commit. No commits to push. Cool. And that's it. Now you can start writing notes. And, um, yeah. Uh, you're good. Have fun.